Hi, welcome to another one of my video logs. Today we'll be talking about young students and how to get them to practice. A student's lack of practice is a constant source of frustration for music teachers. As musicians and music teachers, we generally find it hard to understand why a child is not self-motivated to practice. We practiced our pieces and were motivated enough to eventually sit for exams and study music at a tertiary level. On weekends, we played in a band with some of the local kids in their parents' garage. We were enthusiastic and motivated. So why do our students need to be coaxed to practice and worse still, nagged? For a music teacher teaching very young children, it's important to be aware of a young child's characteristics. Music teachers have got to know what they're dealing with. Typically, young children would wa rather play than concentrate on academic subjects. Classroom teachers will often work with this trait and educate their young charges through play. Because it's fun uh, and engaging, children will learn and sometimes not even know it. A young child generally has their needs met by their parents. They are fed, clothed and sheltered and assuming responsibility for goal achievement is still a way off. Young children have not yet worked out that reward comes through hard work. Typically, a, child, a young child will seek instant gratification and uh, want to play an instrument without exerting too much, if any, effort. They're only just starting to assume responsibility for making their breakfasts and tying their shoelaces. However, most of the time, the responsibility for practicing their instrument and honing their skills is left to the child. Considering their stage of development, it's little wonder that the call to practice their instrument goes unanswered. Music teachers will sometimes bribe students to practice. Some teachers give lollies or stickers as a motivational tool for practice. This requires the reward to be held in abeyance for an effort that may be a week old. Others may make use of regular practice or others may make use of a practice register, which is required to be signed by the child's parent for every practice session. But what about the young children who play piano and violin like they're possessed? There's lots of them. And they may also play another instrument, plus chess and football. How did they become so good and where did they find the time for all that practice? The children studying the Suzuki method seem to be well represented in this congregate. From what I understand, parents are encouraged to be present in the child's lesson and learn the instrument alongside the child. The parent then assumes responsibility for their daily practice session at home and it becomes part of the household daily routine. Most non-Suzuki music teachers don't have the luxury of having dedicated Suzuki-type parents like that. Most of the parents of children I teach draw breath at the idea of having to invest time into practicing an instrument for hours a week with, with their children. Most of the parents of my children are busy working and uh, really are not interested in that level of commitment. However, having at least one enthusiastic parent is a huge motivator for young children. Children with at least one parent who is actively supporting them will be motivated, enthusiastic and will present, uh, progress faster than the children who are left to account for their own progress. The COVID crisis is interesting. For a time I had to give lessons via Zoom. It was interesting because it gave me insight into the practice situations or lack thereof of my own students. Even though in lessons we sit on chairs, use footstools and music stands, some of my students lacked, uh, some of my students practiced on the end of their bed or at the dining room table with no music stand or footstool. Some students were very disorganized in the Zoom lessons. They had to find chairs to sit on and prop their music up on something. It led me to believe uh, that if they didn't have simple things like a chair and music stand organised by now, there can't be too much practice going on at home and their practice environment was not in non-existent. And they would have had very little guidance from mum and dad. 
I don't have all the answers to getting kids to, to practice their instrument, and I'd be keen to hear from uh, others on the issue, but till a child is old enough to take responsibility for uh, uh, organising their own focused, effective and disciplined practice routine, there are a few basic steps that I take to get the best from my students. Firstly, I use a book that is child friendly. It's written especially for young children and addresses their particular needs and challenges in a graded and sequential manner. It's quite good. I make use of parental involvement wherever possible. I've uploaded to YouTube video lessons, uh, uh, videos of each lesson that I teach I've informed the parents that this facility is available to them and to make use of it. It's free. I ask the parents that a space be made available uh, for the child to practice and not necessarily in their bedroom where they're cut off from the family. I encourage parents to provide their children with all the equipment that they need. I will frequently record a child and send the uh, the file of that child playing their instrument or playing their guitar to their parents. Uh, this gives a child a reason to practice and will draw the focus of the child. I'll organise half yearly concerts for the same reason. Other things you can do is to have patience and set the expectation that uh, your students won't always be moving forward. Uh, sideways is fine too for a while. Keep your expectations reasonably high and remain positive. It's easy for a student not to perform if nothing is expected. Use positive comments and positive reinforcements. Commend a child for their actions that you'd like to see more of. Generate enthusiasm and set a positive example for your students and play the instrument yourself. This could include a visit to the classroom. I've been asked many times to come and play for the children by uh, a classroom teacher. If you'd like to hear some more information on uh, teaching young children guitar, um, I'd be pleased to hear from you. At, uh, you can head to my blog at uh, www.copyplayandlearn.com. Thanks very much.